The main monthly award program just dropped now and 95 Rafael Devers is honestly one of the best third base options in the game. I know we got George Brett just the other day. However, for everyone who does not have him, he seems like one of the top tier options over there. We're gonna go through the program, all of the cards, my opinions on them, and how you guys can get them for yourselves. I have more of a basic strategy for you this time around rather than how loose I had it the first time. Let's get into it. So this is our monthly award program. As you see, we have four new tops now cards this week. Matthew Liberatore, Jake Berger, Kyle Farmer, and Trent Grisham. All, you know, solid tops now cards. However, I don't think many people will be using these cards unless they're just starting their teams. However, solid cards nonetheless if you're looking to use them. There are your different stages within the program. And there have been some minor adjustments made in this program in comparison to the first one. You have stage one, which consists of your tops now. Stage two, which consists of getting to the monthly award stuff with the monthly award cards. And stage three, after you get the lightning card, you can get extra packs. You can get every single monthly award card. Not really paying any stubs. So first, and always, do your tops now moments. It's always going to be the thing you want to do. Then once you get to stage two, you get to the monthly award cards, and then we start to see these cards. First, we have Clay Holmes, which I'm going to be real. He is a must-use reliever right now. I will say, a little bit low in the case per nine, but that shouldn't be a big problem. He's having an outlier sinker, so that's going to hit high velocity. He's going to have great control and break on that pitch. Probably the best sinker in the game, I would say. And my camera not. Dansby Swanson, I'm not going to lie. A little underwhelming as a shortstop card. They're definitely a lot better at this point, especially with their future star cards. However, for you Braves fans, he's definitely going to be a viable use if you like him. Dalton Varsho, I think, will be a solid pick as a beginner catcher. Lefty bat, especially a catcher, is always going to be valuable. And those splits versus lefties are very good. Luckily, he's got some speed, too. So if you like speed a catcher, this is going to be your guy to use. Cole Calhoun looks like a very well-rounded bat. He's just very slow. So, you know. Probably don't want to play 39 speed in the outfield on your God Squad. But again, a good beginner card if you need that. Martin Perez, I think, might be an actual viable starter. 95 hits for nine. As that sinker cutter circle change pitch mix. Should be very respectable if you need a back end of the rotation starter still. However, 69 Ks per nine. He's going to induce a lot of foul balls. Especially with the slow stuff he throws. So, might not be super effective until you hit the higher difficulties. And then Ryan Helsley, again, looks like a really good reliever option. 115 hits per nine. He has 101 Ks per nine. He's got the velocity. He's a popular BR reliever. And the break is very solid at this point in the game. So again, another solid relief pitcher choice if you need it. Then you're going to get three of these packs within the program. Then get to your 93 overall cards. Jose Altuve is probably one of the better primary second basemen right now. Not gonna lie, I like Altuve's swing as much as it's Jose Altuve. Very solid second baseman at this point, even with the future star cards out. Very well-rounded hitting he brings. Pete Alonso, I know we have a lot of first basemen at this point in the game, but it's definitely one of the better right-handed hitting first basemen. And he gets a bunch of quirks and, you know, actually not bad defense for a first baseman. So, should be a very popular right-handed bat at this point in the game. And then Tariq Skubal, not a bad starter, honestly. 97 hits for nine. He's got a sinker in his pitch, makes a great control and break on that slider. He could definitely be a viable starter, but I don't picture many people actually using him with that pitch mix he has. And it all leads up to eventually getting our lightning card. You have Jim Rice, who we talked about earlier, now being obtainable. And I don't think he'll be seeing the light of day on many teams. However, a very respectable hitting card at this point in the game, along with Rafael Devers, the lightning guy, who is going to destroy righties and still be very good versus lefties with 81 power. Big thing again with these lightning cards, they get some quirks that kind of put them up a bit. So like, again, these lightning monthly award cards get a little bit of a boost because of the quirks they get. Endeavor is going to be really good versus both sides. He's got a very popular swing. And I'm kind of scared to face this card because the face of the franchise Endeavor's made every single play against me and it drove me nuts. Like I mentioned, first in stage one, do your top now moments to get to the monthly award cards. Very straightforward there. Then when you're in stage two, this is all about PXP with the monthly award cards and the top now cards. So first of all, do all of these moments. I'd recommend doing every single one of these moments. They give you three stars a piece. They'll get you up to 98 stars once you have every single one of these moments complete. And yes, 
Last month, there was some PXP mission with top sound cards or something in stage one. A lot of mix up with that, people saying, oh, I didn't complete the top snail XP scan. I missed out on stars. No, you didn't. It just was enough to get you to stage two. And in this scenario here, you have exactly enough to get the 65 stars. Then in stage two, you do all the moments, you'll end up at 98. Everyone should end up that way this time, especially since that mission is not included, even though that didn't happen anyway. But you do all your moments, get to 98 stars, you'll have three of the monthly award cards. Now you have some options. You could choose the cards you maybe want. Maybe what you want to do is choose the pitchers. Pitcher PXP is pretty easy if you're only grinding them by themselves. You go into a legend game of mini seasons or play legend play versus CPU against a really bad offensive team and get it done pretty easily in just a couple games. It's up to you really. I recommend just choosing the cards you want because they did kind of balance that. The pitchers need 500 PXP while the hitters need 250. And honestly, I think 250 PXP with hitters, because she had a very hitter friendly park, will be very easy. So, long story short, mix up the monthly award cards that you have at this point, the three of them, and the top snail cards. Work on getting those three PXP, so nine stars plus the 10 top snail stars that you get. Complete that PXP in a few games and mini seasons and all that. And you should end up right at 117 stars which will give you one of the 93 overalls at this point and just short of another. And at this point is where it gets a little tough. You could actually sell the first three cards you had got from this pack down here. Sell the first three, get the other three and work on the PXP with them to get it done a little quicker. Get those nine stars a little quicker. Um, you can also just buy a couple of these cards, get the stars. They're gonna be a little bit expensive. Buying will shortcut it for you. I'd recommend at least considering exchanging the first three cards you got down here, along with using the one that you get up here. Get another nine stars plus the one for here, which will give you another 12. It will get you at this point, which again, you're going to keep on tallying that PXP with the cards as you get them. You'll probably get these two done, and this will be the final finish, getting these two big ones done for the 15 stars a pop. Give you 30 plus all these stars. A lot of PXP, and essentially you need to complete all those PXP missions, or as many of them as possible, along with the big ones at the end to get to the very end with uh, the lightning card. And then obviously when you get all of those cards, when you get the five cards, after you sell off the first bunch and buy the next three, Collect all five of them, they'll give you the 15 stars, and that'll get you to the finish. So again, buying cards will shortcut the process. If that's something you want to do to save yourself some time, maybe you have some extra stubs. However, if you are just trying to get it done efficiently, just quickly exchange the three cards you had to start, swap them out on the market, get the other three, do your other 93 overall PXP, and you should get to the end with due reason. And at stage three, this is just using the monthly awards endeavors, get PXP with them, and you'll get all the extra ones all for free. So I'm gonna be grinding this out on stream. If you have any questions, feel free to swing by over there. But I think the monthly award process is pretty straightforward, especially now that we've gone through it once. So swing by to Twitch if you wanna hang out and watch me grind this. I will be live very soon, grinding all this on stream. I hope you all enjoy this monthly award program. Hopefully you get a lot of good cards. Let me know in the comments how you think about Devers or any of the other cards you plan on using. And I will see you all again on the video tomorrow where we're gonna be tier listing every single card in the game, including these monthly award cards. So make sure you're subbed for that and be ready for that tomorrow. And I'll see you all again on the next one. Deuces.